from the public's perspective, I think you all are misunderstood because from the public's perspective, you see some black men with red fezes under the appellation of mowers. Mm -hmm. People who are squatting in people's homes mm -hmm. and claiming ownership of someone else's home under the indigenous, you know, claiming of this is our soil. How does that make you feel when you see these folks under the appellation of Moore conducting themselves in this way? Those people who say that they are Moors are telling the truth because they are Moors, but they are not Moorish Americans. They are not. Moorish Americans don't do those kind of things. And it's written in our laws. We don't take people's property. We don't beat people in the head. And we're not uh, uh, anti-American. We're not, um, as they say, uh, against America. This is not an Afrocentric organization. And for those who try to make it that way, uh, they, they will pay the price. There are Moors across the country. We know of groups in Rhode Island and New Jersey, but neither of those groups are part of the Moorish Science Temple of America, which are like the OG Moorish Americans. We came here to their headquarters to speak to the Supreme Grand Sheik to see if he thinks these splinter groups are legit and if their practices are in line with their Moorish teachings. We've come to Sunday school to learn from the eighth generation successor of Prophet Noble Drew Ali, the Supreme Grand Sheik. Set if you're set. I'm set. Great. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? I'm in peace. I'm in peace. I'm practicing peace. Indeed. Thank you so much for taking the time to have this conversation. Personally, it is uh, it's significant for me in terms of engaging someone of your stature and intellectual wisdom uh, to glean from. And just for formality's sake, can you tell me? Your name, your title, and what it is that you do. My name is Brother E. Braswell Bay, E. for Emmanuel. I am the eighth Supreme Grand Sheik and Chairman, descended from the Prophet Noble Jirali's line of authority. Uh, there's going to be a ninth one after me, and a tenth one. Mm -hmm. They'll be on and on to show the continuity of our organization. Uh, this is not a snakehead organization, there's mm -hmm. always someone fill the shoes of leadership to govern our, our organization throughout the world. Supreme Grand Sheep and Chairman. That's some kind of title. It is. What exactly does that mean? It means the official head of the Moorish Science Temple of America. This office, rather, that I hold is the head, administratively speaking, of the members of the Moorish Science Temple of America that's been authorized by the great Prophet Noble Jirali. It's an office that the Prophet Jirali put in, in, in place himself um, because he knew that he would not be in the physical body forever. And again, the continuity of the movement must <clears throat> go on and on and on. So he prepared that office as well as the Supreme Grand Council it's sort of like a governing body, board of directors, mm -hmm. to uh, demonstrate the daily activities of our organization worldwide. What is the Morris Science Temple of America? <laughs> the Morris Science Temple of America is probably all the ten wonders of the world and more. <laughs> <So> <laughs> it is a, it's a saving uh, power, really, for our people, because we had nothing uh, after being duped. Uh, being held in physical slavery for so many years. We lost uh, so many vital things that make us a nation. More Science Cup of America, I'm very firm on that. Mm -hmm. And I see it as the only um, situation that can relieve our people from the mental slavery that they have now. Mm -hmm. It's all mostly mental. Mm -hmm. It's mental now. So uh, we believe, according to our prophet, Noble Ali, that uh, 
it was his position, the Prophet Nobujali's position, to put this organization together to give us some political standing here in the United States of America, to give us some economic understanding and uh, exaggeration in terms of putting it in place, economic power, socially. We had no uh, sense of being social with one another or the world, if you will, and uh, spiritually. But before spiritually, of course, morally. We had no moral concept. We were, as Henry, as Senator Henry Berry said in, in the book by Carter G. Woodson, mm -hmm. he says, uh, mm. if we keep miseducating the Negro, we'll have him like a beast in the field. So um, we were like a beast in the field. So the Morris Science Club of America is a salvation for our people to get back those things that we lost and we deserve. We need it just like everybody else in this world. We need all those components to be recognized by all other nations throughout the world as a viable community. Through the Morris Science Club of America, which is a religious corporation, we have donned the garment, if you will, of a free national person bearing his free national consciousness, free national movement. We said we'll join the pool of nationalities, but we won't join it as a mark of Negro, Black, and colored. So the Morris Science Club of America, put together by the Prophet Nobud Ali, has given, given us the opportunity to join the, the pot of nationalities as Moorish Americans. And that's what the Moorish Science Club of America is set up to do, to give us back our nationality uh, as Moorish Americans, descended Moroccans and born in America. You are more, you are more. But to be a Moorish American, you must join the Moorish Science Club of America, which is a religious corporation. And the members of this religious corporation are known as jural persons. They live, we, live, we are a juristic people, I mean, which means that we're a religious government, which also means that our nationality is our religion, belonging to a religious corporation right here in the county of Cook, mm -hmm. in the state of Illinois. Mm -hmm. As uh, the Vatican is who it is, as a Jewel society in Rome, in Italy, which is a sovereign country. Mm -hmm. The only other organization that can be compared to the more science Club of America is a religious Jewel society. Like the Vatican. Si, senor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why is it so important for you all that you have a nationality? In order to be a citizen, a legal citizen of the United States of America, you must have a nationality. If you don't have a nationality, you will be granted a privilege that can be taken away when they want to take it away, mm -hmm. like the Voting Rights Act. The Voting Rights Act is not for citizens. It's for a group of people who never proclaim their nationality and want to vote. They never said, I'm Moorish American, or I'm Jamaican American, or I'm Haitian American. Citizens of our government never needed a Voters' Rights Act. Voters' Rights Act, never. Because they're already citizens. So that law uh, puts them, unfortunately, in a position that they become citizens long enough as, as long as they say so. As long as they say so. It's so important from a spiritual or uh, religious point of view first. Because the Bible says, and any religious book says that, when you honor your mother and father, your days would be longer on the earth land in which the Father God, who we call Allah, have given to you. Nationality is important because it takes us back to our father, who the land was given to. And even in your Holy Bible, there is no black eye, or Negro eye in there. There's Benjaminites, Israel, Israelites. There's all kind of ice. <laughs> but no white height. <laughs> white height, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's that. all that's all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're, we're connecting ourselves to a divine uh, presence of people on the planet mud from the beginning. That's why it's important. Mm -hmm. It's important because it's part of the, the legal structure in our country called uh, Just Solinas. And just saying, the right of birth and the right of blood. 
We have that right. And you can't never say that you're mixed up, you don't know who you are. There's only three blood types in the world. A, B, and O. A, B, O. There's no blood type else. And nobody has all three blood types at the same time. So scientists have, have, have uh, agreed that when you look at the geographical, lo geographical location of these blood types, they're in certain areas. 85% of the people in the world are O blood type. 85%. O blood type is a universal blood type. Right. Yeah. And where are they mostly located, at, geographically speaking? The Americas. To give you another example, is I heard on the radio uh, several weeks ago, it says, oh, the black Haitians are coming. Here comes the black Haitians. I said, oh, really? Haiti is a sovereign country with a flag and a constitution, right? <clears throat> so that's separate. Now, black, according to science, means that. It's a derogative name, period, now, how you look at it, and, and linguistically. We don't look at the European as white people. We look at them as Europeans of European descent. And it doesn't make us any problems. They're not a problem for us. Now, our prophet Obadurati tells us that if you want to describe his skin, which skin is not the issue, then he would be pale face. That's what he would be, pale face. So how would it look if I say, here come the pale skin Irish, Here come the spell-skinned spell Lithuanians. <laughs> so why are you trying to tax this mark of black on people who look like me? To again take away their sense of government and nationality as free national citizen in their own country? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Well, what are the principles that the Moorish Science Temple of America stand for? We stand for five divine principles that are ageless, really. So there's love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Those are our five divine principles. And of course, the first begins with love. Loving yourself. That's the greatest love you can have, the love for you. You know, often too many times our people find other things and other situations to love instead of their own self, physically, mentally, or spiritually. I love my big lips. <laughs> I mean, they're huge, man. Sometimes it's I say mind words. Mind yeah, you know, mind mind word, yeah. My lips, the words get in the way of my lips because they're so huge. Mm -hmm. In fact, when I was a small boy, they used to say, hey, level them. You know what they call them? What? Soup coolers. Soup coolers, there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's what they are. Mm -hmm. Love your hue, love your hair. Yeah. A good hair is not straight hair, it's clean hair. Uh, true, be truthful with yourself. Be truthful with all you need. Mm -hmm. now, that makes a man a man, you know, when he's true, a uh, woman a woman, when she's true to herself, that's your reputation. Right. My father told me, he says, your calling card is your word and being truthful. And when you think that you can't be truthful, don't tell a lie, just say no comment. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace is paramount. So normally we, people ask us how we're doing and say, well, we're, we're practicing peace. We're trying to work on peace, which was a big thing in the Indian culture. And they have one word to describe peace called shanti, 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 and freedom. Freedom is something that you have to experience in your own mind. And that's not letting anybody control your mind. You control your own mind. So no one can ever make you mad unless you give them permission to. You have the freedom to control your own mind, your own thoughts, and justice. Be fair with yourself and be fair with everyone you need. Those are our five divine principles. Did you all ever consider having a government or a nation in America that's outside of the American no. government? Why? We built this country. This is our land. We've delved into the foundations of the Moorish Science Temple of America, uncovering its core history, core beliefs, and the role of its leadership. In our next video, 
we will look at the complex issue of Moorish extremists who seek separation from the United States of America, consider themselves sovereign, and refuse to obey the law. Similar to this chapter, Supreme Grand Sheikh E. Braswell Bay walks us through the distinct differences between the Moorish Science Temple of America and these extremist groups. The video will go live on YouTube weeks from now, but you can watch it right now on Amexum All Access where we post all of our content first. Here's why this is exciting. Amexum All Access is a streaming service we have built and are expanding with evidence-based lessons that have proven to be extremely effective at helping the personal transformation of others. What started as a passion project in 2018 has grown into an ongoing journey that allows us to create more ambitious projects than we could with YouTube alone. The 14th and 15th Amendment does not address citizens of the United States of America. It addresses U.S. citizens. The Prophet Nopadrali is specifically referring to us as citizens of the United States of America, and that, of course, is on our nationality identification card. She took a sampling of different mummies to find that these mummies had ingested coca, the coca leaf. They also found high rates of tobacco, not African tobacco, American tobacco. Nile Valley civilization was in trade with different indigenous peoples in the Americas. The Moore Science Temple of America in 1913 created the corporation, the, the corporation Moore Science Temple of America of 1928, and it created it for a purpose. The United States of America created the United States for a purpose, and, and the purpose was that now we're gonna get a, create a federal government out of this here. If you sign up using the link on the screen right now, you will save more than $15 per year, which means it will cost you only $3.66 each month. That way, you can support this ambitious platform that we have been building since 2018 and help us continue to produce insightful content to help you in your everyday life. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and love.